హలో వరల్డ్ గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ గుడ్ ఆఫ్టర్నూన్ గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు కోడింగ్ సైంటిస్ట్ డాట్ కామ్ యూ ఆర్ వాచింగ్ వన్ ఆఫ్ ద మోస్ట్ ఎక్సైటింగ్ జీరో టు హీరో సిరీస్ ఆన్ ఈఎస్పీ థర్టీ టూ ఈఎస్పి ఎయిటీ టూ సిక్స్టీ సిక్స్ అండ్ ఈఎస్పి థర్టీ టూ కెమెరా మాడ్యూల్ సో దిస్ లెసన్ ఇస్ గోన్ బి ఇన్ కంటిన్యూయేషన్ టు ద ప్రీవియస్ లెసన్ విచ్ వీ సా వీ వీ బిల్ట్ అ స్మాల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ యూజింగ్ ద ఓఎల్ఈడి అండ్ ఎంపీయు సిక్స్ జీరో ఫైవ్ జీరో Uh, IMU and we did try to uh, you know look at the acceleration and 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 the gyroscopic uh, sensory data and push that into the OLED so we were successfully able to build now in order to publish those data read those data real time on the web that needs some kind of configurations in your ESP32 file system so that's what we are going to look at uh, how we are going to do that settings and configuration so that in the future lessons the next lesson onwards we are set completely set with our esp32 file system so that we can build turn loads of web based you know iot projects sensor projects and deploy multiple sensors and capture the information from the sensor publish those sensory information live into real time into the into the web browser so that's what we are going to do it so let's let's take a look at it so in this lesson i will show you how to basically install the file system uploader right uploader for esp32 development board so the esp32 basically contains a serial peripheral interface flash file system it's a little confusing s p i f f s it's which is called serial peripheral interface flash file system f p i f f s so fpi ffs is a lightweight file system created by microcontrollers with a flash chip like inside this like inside this esp32 there's a flash uh, chip which are basically uh, connected by spi bus serial bus right like the esp32 flash memory in this particular lesson we are going to you know uh, I'll, i'll i'll basically show you how to easily upload the files to the file system directly using a plugin you know we are going to use the plugin which can interface between your arduino ide and esp32 board and this plugin will directly communicate with the file system of esp32 so in most of our web server related upcoming lessons most of the projects we will be building is going to be based on the web server so i have written a basic uh, html code for the web server as a string directly on the arduino scratch however with spi ffs you can write the html and css in a separate file and save them on the esp32 file system so that makes things much more easy and intuitive to interact with the web real time with the real time data with the real time sensor data right now let's 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 see how this specific thing works so basically if you took uh, take a look at this architecture spi ffs lets you to access the flash memory like you would do in a normal file system in your computer right it's the same same way the 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 method is going to be the same way but simpler and more limited of course it's a very small chip esp32 is a very very small chip unlike your computer we cannot just compare apple to apple but the way the flash memory would work is almost in the same direction and the same architecture you can read you can write you can close and delete the files and whatever you want you can do that within the file system at the same time of writing you know uh, the uh, the spif fs doesn't really support lot of directories so we got to be little careful there so everything is saved on a pretty much a flat structure very much flat structure not a multiple structure so basically what what is it used for using spi ffs with the esp32 board is very useful when it comes to creating a configuration files with you know certain settings and then save the data permanently you want to save certain amount of say images or text files or some other kind of format into the esp32 chip into the flash memory permanently so that is possible using spi ffs 
and then create files to save small amount of data instead of using a micro SD card. You know, we don't we don't need a micro SD card, though ESP32 it's possible, but we don't need it. And then we can also save HTML and CSS files to build a web server. So you can create, you know, your own styles and fonts and stuff like that uh, with some images which can be stored and, you know, some kind of icons and stuff like that. So all those things are possible. Now let's take a look at it. There is, I'm going to, I'm going to show you uh, what exactly that plugin is. You can just download it from my GitHub and I'll show you the steps, how to go about it. Let's take a look at it. Just give me a minute. I will just open up my GitHub and from there we will take it forward. All right. So if you see my GitHub account, go to ESP32, ESP32 cam, this particular section. And if you go to the one, two, three, four, the fourth one, the fourth file, ESP32 FS-1.0 zip. So go ahead and download this zip. All right. Keep it ready with you. Just download, put it on the desktop for now. I will, the next step I'm going to show you what exactly you are going to do with this particular file with a with a zip file all right and then uh, what we will also do is i will just uh, share it with you give me a minute what we might want to actually do once you download the zip on the desktop do not do anything there there are certain systematic step little complex it is so what i did was i tried to take the screenshot when i was trying to troubleshoot and try to fix it and try to make it work I took all the screenshots and kept so that you know I, I myself I can refer and as a documentation so I'm going to show those screenshots so that you guys can follow exactly what I am referring to number one uh, what what basically you need to of course do is go to Arduino IDE directory and open the tools folder so if you go to the way when you install Arduino IDE it might be either in a C or D directory or wherever you install just go to that path and open the tools folder if there is no tools folder you know many a times what happens is you may not have the tools folder itself so do not worry all you need to do is right click create a new folder make it as tools t o o l s if it does not exist create a new one and then the uh, the helper program uh, the zip file which you downloaded just now through my github you need to download into the tools folder okay the tools folder and then you will see this kind of similar kind of path once you see this path then what you need to do you need to move on to the next you need to just extract the file extract the file from that zip folder into the tools folder and then restart your arduino ide you need to just close it and then restart once you restart, you need to, uh, you know, to check if the plugin was successfully installed, the plugin which you downloaded from my GitHub, that plugin, if you need to double check if it is installed or not. Open your IDE, the Arduino IDE, as, I, as you can see in the screenshot behind me, then select the ESP32 board and go to tools and check that you have the option of ESP32 sketch data upload. So that section you should be able to see in the drop down. ESP32 sketch data upload once you see that that means you have successfully installed the helper program you have successfully installed the plugin all right and then what we got to do of course we need to create a Arduino sketch and save it what you can do is you can just open a blank sketch a very basic uh, blank sketch the, the basic one right which does not have any loops and condition condition statement so open that and uh, just try to save the empty sketch into the folder, the tools folder, you know, uh, uh, into the tools folder where you downloaded that particular helper program and then open the sketch folder you can, for, in order to confirm whether you downloaded or not, save that sketch or not, you got to go to the sketch and show sketch folder. Click on the show sketch folder this folder where you save the sketch will automatically open up the file should automatically open up on your system if it opens the exact path same path that means you are good to go you are successfully done 
and then what you need to do hold your ESP32 in your hand uh, this is the next step this is the final step right and press the boot button you know we have done couple of exercise in the past so by this time you should be aware hold the boot button and then upload click the ESP32 sketch data upload just click on that nothing else just click and hold it hold the boot button it will take you know couple of seconds to create that folder into your ESP32 flash now let's take a look at it what happens once you create that folder what exactly happens so I'll, I'll just share my desktop and we will uh, take it forward from there just give me a minute guys I'll just share my IDE All right so I hope you guys can see it so what's what's going to happen is once you create it let me show the path which I created so here this is what you should see your path might be a little bit different compared to mine depends upon where you saved your Arduino IDE so once you see this section here then create a file called test inside test create another folder called data okay and then this is the test sketch which you saved in the previous step right remember this is the test sketch which you saved so don't do anything with that just open create a folder called data inside data you can create a file a text file called test underscore example any name you might want to give just you know test underscore example and then open that file in that file you can just write randomly whatever you want hello world welcome to coding scientist that's what I had written so you may write whatever you want and then so whatever we are going to publish into this we need to see this getting reflected in the terminal in the serial monitor in the Arduino serial monitor once we run a, another program right so in order to test whether this is working perfectly or not what we got to do is go back to my github okay and then in github i have a program here so let me show you which was that i think esp zip and relay test testing file system here you can go to this particular code click on this okay go to raw once you go to raw select all control a and then right click copy and come back to Arduino IDE you can just remove this I think I already have it and then paste it here once you paste it as usual again once again you have to hold your boot button this is the boot button do not get confused between boot button and the en button okay press the boot button and upload this code once you upload once you see at the bottom it is successful just click on the terminal once you click on the terminal you can't see anything that is your serial monitor terminal you cannot see anything so now click en button press the en button and there you go <coughs> so whatever i typed into the text file you can see the text content here hello world welcome to coding scientists right so this is very important guys this is very very important unless until you see this message reading through so what happens is this file system is actually taking the entire mount which you mounted inside the file system with a text file right so now it is working perfect so make sure that you follow all the steps and keep this particular uh, setup ready because the next lesson onwards we are going to follow the same thing but we will be creating a web server to publish our sensor data so it's very very important you follow this and uh, make sure that you are ready with the setup in case if you get stuck in case if you have any problem do reach out to me i will help you one-on-one -on -one through the zoom call and I, I will make sure that you understand the entire system and it works flawlessly until then, goodbye. See you.